not forget the universal button, dear. Thanks, Miss. Now, girls, as I said, it's Christmas tomorrow. And there are lots of people out there less fortunate than ourselves. Ah, oh, poor people. And I think when we're eating our Christmas lunch, we should think about those people. Ah, oh, poor people. And when we're opening our presents, I think we should have a few moments silence. Ah, oh, poor people. Well, you know we're going to have loads of food, Dad. Couldn't we at least throw the bones away? They love that, won't they? Oh, of course, Rita. Of course. <laughs> I think that's a very nice gesture and a lovely way to end the evening. Now, girls, come on, you're up faster already. Just make sure that one don't burn her back, all right? Good night, Papa. Good night, Mama. Good night, Papa. Good night, Mama. Good night, Papa. Good night, Mama. Stupid boy, right? You got a yellow streak or something? No, sir. Just that's the only point in killing people, that's all. So you're just gonna sit there while the deer is shoot? You've got to fight for your king and country!
Maggie Stewart in the back there, she left to have a little baby. Maggie Stewart. Jane Warren with her head, there she goes, Jane Warren. And of course, Gina. Down in the background is Karen Atkinson, another camera shy girl of Chaworth, Karen Atkinson. Mandy Winch with her back to us, Mandy Winch. Now we're going to see Man Shy, Julie West. Julie West. And of course, Gina. Tony Roddis. Mandy Winch. Hold this it. is Lana Hyman, who was reading a news cast, as she thought, but we didn't know the sound wasn't working. Nobody would have understood it anyway, unless you came from Brixton or the West Indies. Lana Hyman. And that unfortunately concludes the girls at Chaworth that happened to be around on that particular afternoon when the sound on the camera wasn't working. Yeah, we are. Oh, brilliant. Great ages. Oh, this is it. This is it. The first one is 12 months. What time is it? 2 o'clock today. What's that about? So I told you, you could put smiley in a smithy, get the interview. Oh, yeah. Don't tell Mum, please. Uh -uh. Don't tell Mum. Mum, nothing. I've got an interview. That's great. Hey, please come up. Tea, please. This, this isn't your one. It's got some problems. Well, Mum, listen, I can explain about this one. Okay, so I'll put... Oh, I'll put a smile. I think you're going. School? Now, come on, sit down. We've got to sort this out now. Oh, come on. Mum, mm. listen, right? I put a smile on the application form, right? Because we st I've just been waiting so long just to get one break, one interview. Yeah, but as, up, right? as, soon, as soon as they find out you're a smith, they're going to bung you out. Oh, Mum, you've got to understand. I've been waiting so long. It's just one interview. Am I right, Liz? She is right. Listen, Mum, right? We know she went to college. God, she went to college for three years. She's got top brains, right? We know how, what, how good she is. We know she gets in there, right? Let's see what qualifications she's got. Let's see what sort of a nice person she is. Before they look at her stupid surname, Smith, that don't matter then. Yeah, but Mum, can't you see? Will you look at Dad? Think of Dad. Yeah, just think of him, right? He's been trying. How long has he been trying? And he hasn't got yeah. anywhere. She has got the interview. She is getting now. Look, all I've got to say is that I hope you get the interview. I know you got the interview, and I'm happy about you getting the interview, but I don't think you get the job because you lied about yourself. Oh, 
bits. That's the one with the um, quali promising qualifications, is it not? Yeah. <sighs> I'm not playing, right? No, no. Oh, you must be early then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's your first interview. Yeah. Yeah, it's mine as well. I nearly missed the bus. I was really frightened. Mind you, there's three jobs going, so that's what you're doing. Yeah, we could go out for a drink or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Uh, Hello, Mr. Jones. Hello, Mr. Jones. Hello, Mr. Jones. Yeah, I did um, three years at college to get an annual diploma. Got my O-level childcare in that view. Yeah, I'm worried about that because I don't have any experience at all. No, nor have I. Oh, well, like you said, there is free jobs, so... Yeah. Okay, Mr. Jones, we'll have these uh, first applicants here. Who's Miss Sun Pearson? Miss Pearson, would you like to come in, please? Ah, oh, Miss Pearson. Uh, Pleased to meet you, sit down. your application forms. Okay, I mean, it says that you have no qualifications right. and you haven't been to college. Right. Okay. So, um, <coughs> what made you interested in taking up the job? Well, <coughs> I used to babysit for my sister's younger children, but they're now old enough to go to school. You know, and I just like to carry on with young kids. So yeah. I applied for the job. Yes. Um, any problems at home? <coughs> no. Any questions? Yeah, I was wondering about the wages and day offs. Ah, that will be um, sorted out with the, the, um, the family who goes to school. Okay. okay, if you'd just like to take a seat outside. Thank you very much. Nice meeting you. Miss Jones? experience have you had? Well, I used to work in a day nursery. Yes. The nursery is now closing down. Yes, I see. Any problems at home? No. No. Okay, <coughs> that's okay. Any questions? What will the money be? Uh, you'll have to sort that out with the family that you uh, work for. Okay? Okay. We'd just like to take a seat outside. Okay, thank you. Miss Jones? Miss Jones, why don't you come when I call you? Sorry, Mr. Brown. You know this. Yes. We'll have um, the um, smile lady in there, please. Okay. Miss Smythe, would you like to come in, please? You should be proud of being a Smith. Our Smiths are work for our country. Actually, I think there's been some kind of mistake. The name's Smith. <laughs> Pardon? I said the name's Smith. Uh, would you like to take a seat, please? I'll be back in a minute. Mr. Brown? Yes. The Miss Smythe is a Miss Smith. It's me, did you say? Yes, Mr. Brown. So no way, Miss Mr. Brown, it's the law. You've got to see her now. She's here for an interview. Just imagine it. A Smith in my waiting room, sitting on one of my chairs. So no way, sent off with Smith written on it. I just don't even get an answer. I mean, I don't even get a letter to say, you know, that we're not going to interview you. I don't get anything. And it, it just seemed unfair to me. So I thought if I could put Smith on the application form, at least you'd be able to see me and sort of speak to me and find out what I can do before yes. you judge me by my name. Yes. Mr. Brown, are you listening to me? Yes, I'm listening to you, Miss Smith. <sighs> Mr. Brown, I've worked really hard to get where I am today. I stayed only a year and a half at college to 
get my O levels. Yes. I, I was at one of the top colleges in London for three years to get a nannying diploma. Yes. But, oh, Mr. Brown? Yes. Well, look, I mean, why don't you just run along now and we'll contact you? Was that it? Yes. No questions, that's no, it. No, we've got it all on the files, Miss uh, Smith. Hello. Thanks very much. Bye. Miss Jones! I think we'll employ Miss Kirsten from Miss Hoover. I mean, you can't have a Smith one anymore, it's coming down. Get that chair from the front, will you? Oh, Miss Jones. I was wondering, could you make a little dinner date with Charles for me? And make sure this man is there. Mr. Brown, what about your wife? We're all entitled to have a little fling now and again, Miss Jones. <laughs> Miss Pearson, congratulations. Oh, Miss Holder, you've been made up a job. Miss Smith, I thought we'd, uh, we'd come to a little arrangement that we'd uh, contact you. No, Miss Brown, you came to the little arrangement. I mean, I walked out here. You said go home, right? I walked out, everybody else is waiting. So why can't I wait? Look, I think their application forms came in a little bit earlier than yours. Well, we all had the interview on the same day. I just don't understand it. Are you telling me I haven't got the job? Is no, that... Miss, Miss Smith, I am telling you that I will contact you. Mr. Brown, you're either telling me I haven't got the job or I have got the job. Yes, I mean, you seem to have decided Smith, pretty Miss quick Smith, about these two. I no, come on. I, 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 come on, Mr. Brown. I mean, what's the problem? <laughs> is there some kind of problem? Look, I really don't need to see that there's any need for this kerfuffle. This is a respectable firm and you're coming here shouting your mouth off. Kerfuffle? I've travelled all the way here today. No, Miss Jones, I will handle it. I've travelled a long way to get here today. I really don't touch me either. I have no intention of touching Miss Smith. Okay, I've got it. That is, that's it, isn't it? Come on, let's all be open about it. I mean, everything was fine. Well, will you come out? I've got a splitting headache. I can do it come in here and call the Who do you stuff. think you are? You're going to come out for a drink, baby. Just get back to the Mrs. Brown, just don't think that this is the last of this, okay? Oh, Mrs. Smith, please, will you calm yourself down? Calm down? Would you calm? Would you be calm? If this had happened to you, would you be calm? Look, I would really have to take action. If you don't calm down, I would have to call the police. Mr. Brown, you can call who you like, because I'm telling you now that this is not finished by a long chalk, and I save you calling the police because I've got of my own accord. Yes, it's uh, Mr. Brown, this is not finished. Miss Jones, to ask <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I just hope she's okay. Yes. Thank you very much. Bye. 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 
stupid girl. Get it to bed at once. to live within. So let all races join together and let there be no racism to begin.
somewhere. <laughs> Far away from the cold night out, with one enormous chair. Oh, wouldn't it be lovely? <laughs> Lots of chocolate for me to eat. <laughs> Lots of coal making lots of eat. <laughs> warm face, warm hands, warm feet. Wouldn't it be lovely? Oh, oh so lovely. Sitting absolutely still. I would never budge till spring crept over my windowsill. Someone's head resting on my knee. Warm and tender. Oh, wouldn't it be lovely? Oh, so lovely, lovely, oh, lovely, <laughs> lovely. <laughs> down the street, no shoes on her feet. She's only dressed in rags. Pauses, stops to pick up dobbins, can't afford to buy fags. It soon will be late, cold and dark. The only place for shelter is a shed in the park. She slept there last night and the night before. The, cold, the draft gets in through the hole in the door. Now she's left, all alone, in a world she hasn't made, to wait for nightfall, alone and afraid. When they take her away, yes, they'll come and lock her away for something she hasn't done.
jogging with Jesus. Jogging with Jesus down the highway. I'm jogging with Jesus. Jogging.
is Ashwell. Denise Blackall. Denise Maduro. Linda Rampinet. Jackie Walker. Sharon Inkpen. Donna Cannon. Myra, the producer. Tracy Hill, Joanne Fisher, Linda Thompson, Charlie Wallace, Tanya Daunt, Janine Shankaranistan. This is 1985, even the play just before was 1985, ten years ago. No, I didn't get you last year. <laughs>